Social Democratic Party presidential candidate Jerry Garner has unveiled a five-point roadmap for his G19 campaign tagged SWIFT. This comes a day after the national chairman of the party called on all members of the party not to attend the event scheduled by Professor Ghana and his presidential campaign committee pending the outcome of the appeal of the court judgment. The Federal High Court in Abuja had on December 14 to declare Ghana as the rightful candidate of the Social Democratic Party for the 2019 elections. With the back and forth that has been happening in the party, most people didn't really see today happening. How do you feel that despite all of the obstacles, <laughs> this happened? <laughs> but they were here. And 90% uh, of the National Working Committee, uh, were physically they were not talking uh, about a number of them sent messages and they would have been here. The party is delighted with us. The party wants us to move because they know that we have a capacity and the, the ability to do it. And realistically, they know that this is a very credible alternative. What we expect now from the South South is for them to massively support those of us who come from the middle belt here, not to oppose us. So uh, we, that candidate is doing the wrongest thing. Our people are very angry with that. We are following the law. This is the ruling. And the ruling is that I'm the candidate legally pronounced by a judgment. All right? So we are going on. And I'm not aware of any appeal yet because I haven't been served. When I'm served, of course, I would uh, take a, you know, lawyers to go ahead with it. Exactly. If that is done, we proceed with our campaigns. And you can see, it was heavily attended. All right, that was bringing me to my next question. You know, yeah. the fact that there is an appeal that is coming forth. I'm not now, aware. yes, you're not, not aware, aware and you have not been served. But if that happens, we see that happening in their future. What would be the fate of your campaign movement? The rule, the judgment was so sound, even for someone who is not a lawyer at all. The issue was just a, an interpretation of a provision of the constitution which clearly states that the office of the chairman and that was it, cannot be from the same part of Nigeria. Quickly, let's talk about um, one of the, uh, your five points agenda in the SWIFT mm. social contract. It was quite funny. I saw that you decided to dabble in the road of restructuring. One would think you would, you know, swiftly avoid that. No, now explain no, no, no. to us, is it, are we looking at physical federalism from you or structural restructuring? The issue of restructuring is not something to be evaded. If you want Nigeria to be stable and peaceful and to move on, you have to face it squarely. And thank God I've been at most conferences where this issue has arisen as a delegate. So I'm, not, uh, I'm actually very pleased to be having the opportunity to discuss it. Finally, finally, I saw that your first point was on security. What do we expect differently, rather, looking yeah. to the SDP to move yeah. our security infrastructure forward? Yeah. It's a very, very sound question. But because we mean to solve the issue, I cannot discuss what we program to do because that will be releasing our very strategy to the opposing forces. That will be you know, answered in action and is already packaged. May God give us the opportunity of presiding over the affairs of Nigeria. Those issues will be a thing of the past in the shortest possible time. Aisha Jibrin, Roots TV, Nigeria.